Hi, everybody. So good to see you here today. As usual, this is our every Thursday, 8.30, People, Travel, and Culture. You know, I hope you enjoy this Facebook Live. If you like this program, please like, share, and comment below. I hope you have a great time with us last week where we explore this beautiful city by the name of Zagreb, Croatia, with our guide by the name of Samia. This week, guess where we are going? Our initial plan is to explore the beautiful city of Budapest, Hungary. But because of some slight changes, we are going to showcase a very interesting city by the name of Madrid, Spain. Are you ready? Let's go to Madrid, Spain. Hi, Jose. How are you doing? Hello, Joshua. How are you? Oh, it's good. Long time. <laughs> Oh, what a long time that we don't get to meet each other, yeah? Yeah, we are already missing you and your people. <laughs> oh, yes, that's true. No, I miss uh, Madrid so much, you know, I'm, uh, I really enjoy my time in Madrid. The last trip, in, uh, you know, since then, uh, I can't wait to visit again Madrid. So oh, please, <laughs> come to Madrid. <laughs> We're waiting for you. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. You know, I, before I started uh, our travel, our tour in uh, this, uh, you know, we, before I started our first best of Spain, Portugal, to actually visit myself. I, I take a trip to Madrid and, and uh, I see Segovia, I see Toledo, and I fall in love with this place. That's why I came up with the idea, you know, we actually make Madrid the base camp and uh, we start to travel every day. We stay three nights in Madrid. Every day we just make a day trip to Segovia, to Toledo, and it was so fun, so enjoying. Yeah, I agree with you. Madrid is in a perfect location. It is right at the center of Spain, with uh, mm -hmm. you know, well connected with many places. In oh, one yes. hour by car, you can go to Toledo, to Segovia, very old cities. So you have Madrid that's uh, old and modern. You have everything. You have restaurants. You have life. You have you know people. And then oh, you yes. take your car, and you go over to the bus, and you go to Toledo, and you are going to the past. You are going to the medieval times. It's a very old city. And the same when you go to the north, to Segovia. Oh, so yes. That's, that's nice. And, and I like And it's it. so close. The, the, the places are so close. They are probably one and a half hours maximum. Yeah, it's uh, one hour to Toledo and one hour and something to Segovia. So not oh. too much. Just the perfect time for taking a siesta. <laughs> oh yes, siesta. I like that. <laughs> and yeah. what I like the most is the moment we arrive in Madrid, you, you're like, you know, going into a city that never sleep. You know, it's like, like so happening, yeah. so alive in Madrid. This is this is a crazy city. Yeah. Oh um, yes. At night, you know, the, during the day, in any moment, you see people around. We like enjoying life, going to restaurants. Oh. We, we prefer to be outside than inside. <laughs> oh, yes. So that, and uh, that's nice for Madrid. It's a very, very lively city. Oh, yeah. you know, that really brings back all my travel memories. I, f I feel like going to Madrid now, you know, <laughs> yeah. they're so alive. And by the way, uh, Jose, just wonder, how's the COVID situation now in Madrid? So bit by bit is, is going better. We are in the good path, you know, uh, there are a lot of people already vaccinated. Oh, know, that's they, so good here. I was reading today because of this chat with you and uh, about 70, 70 oh, percent oh, of people fast. have the first doses and 60 the two. Wow. And, you know, what in the mass it is optional, it's not mandatory, but when you are in Madrid, you see almost everybody with a mask. So, mm. you know, some things change because we like, uh, you know, kissing, hugging each other. And now we oh, have yes. to take hands. We have to keep some distance. But, you know. Oh. But you know, that's so Spanish. Yeah, hugging, yeah, know. you know, you know, kissing is so Spanish. You know, I really hope that we are back to normality soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Also me. <laughs> But oh, once you are now, when you are in Madrid, it looks like uh, always the only difference that with this <laughs> mask, you know. Mm. On our, How about tourism? Is it starting now? Is I mean, Madrid is a is a big city, so we have a lot of profile of visitors coming to Madrid. 
And that's good mm. for us because we have business people, we have uh, tourist people. And of course, it was really bad. Many hotels were closed, uh, restaurants. But now things are, are getting better. You know, there are small groups coming to Madrid, there are families. This week I was working with one family from the States, another one wow. from, from Jordan. We are ready to, to welcome you. In fact, what I like the most about Spain, Portugal is that, you know, their, their cuisine, their, their, their food, you know, that's why we actually came up with this idea of a culinary journey where yes. we are not only exploring the cities, you know, the places, yeah. but we also go to explore the food as well. You know, that's where, you know, I'm so looking forward to, to visit uh, Spain and Portugal again, you know? Yeah, you know, that Spain is a small country and we have 17 regions, but they look ah. like 17 countries, different wow. food, different recipes. So we have in common that we have the Mediterranean diet. So mm. our food is healthy. We use the olive oil, uh, a lot of vegetables, fruit, more fish than food and than the meat. So, you know, and we have a lot of uh, recipes, plates, you know, uh, paella, you know, paella is very known, uh, tortilla, oh, yes. you know, the Spanish omelette, uh, but all kinds of foods, really good fish and seafood, good wine, that's important. Oh. <laughs> That's this so life, man. Wine lovers, you know, this is the place, Spain. And uh, I'm already salivating, as you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. And, and by the way, I just wonder, what's the population of Spain? The population of Spain is, is around uh, 50 million people. Oh, 50 in Madrid. million? Yeah, in the province of Madrid, we have 6 million people. And wow. 3 million people are living in the city. That means mm. it's a big city. So mm. that's why it's a city of uh, contrast. We have the old city, we have the financial district. We, so it's wow. a really big city. In some places in the city, you feel like in a small village. <laughs> ah, yeah. oh, that's true. That's that exactly the feeling I get when I was uh, in uh, Madrid recently. Yeah. And by the way, where is Madrid located in uh, Spain? Right at the center. Oh, right you at know. the center. Yeah. So that's why it's uh, so easy going to, to many places around. You know, mm. in one, two, three hours, you can drive to many places around Madrid. Okay. So I see. We have uh, on the left, you know, at the, at, the, at the west, we have Portugal. At the north, we have France. At the south, we have Morocco and Africa. Mm, yeah. I see. Yeah. You know, it's In very general, interesting. And Madrid, right at the center. Mm, I see. Interesting. Maybe you can uh, share, you know, when I was in Madrid, one of the places that we usually visit is the Royal Palace. Is that right? Maybe yes. you can tell us a little bit about this Royal Palace. Yeah, and that's, that's nice and important. That is not a museum. Is the, is the royal palace, it's alive, it's in use. But when they are not used in the palace as an official building, we can enter and we can see the palace. Mm. And mm. it's really impressive, it's really beautiful. Yeah, we, we see the, the, the most important, the most beautiful rooms, the throne room, bedrooms, you know, it's, it's really nice. Also I Madrid see. is, the city itself is nice for walking. The old city is very nice, what we call the harsh books. Uh, section mm. from the from the 16th 17th century and it's nice uh, walking from the palace to plaza mayor a very nice square full of life restaurants people and that's the heart of madrid oh yes that's Puerta right. del sol puerta del sol is the 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 zero mile you know the center of the city's commercial life we have san miguel uh, market that's a nice place for, for trying, for eating tapas. You know what oh, is yes. tapas? You remember tapas? Of course. Yeah. My favorite yeah. is tapas. <laughs> so you put some plates on the, on the table and you pick, you try different foods. You know, that's nice for, especially for you, because that's the way to try different foods. Five, six, seven things in a, in a meal. Oh, yes.
tapas is wonderful. And you know, to me, you know, when you visit Spain and Portugal, one thing, no, sorry, when you visit Spain or especially when you visit, visit Madrid and Barcelona, one thing that we must do is we must make the itinerary so relaxed and we must spend some time in the square. Yeah. You know, the uh, life is in the square. Yeah. And yeah, I like it. I like this uh, from you, from your company, because you are not rushing. Now, yes. the tendency is to, to spend 10 minutes in one place, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and that's, that's not nice. And you are oh, doing yes. the opposite. Three nights in Madrid, time to relax, to, yes. to enjoy the city. And as we said before, Madrid is like a, a base camp to go to Toledo and Segovia, but you are coming back to your home, to your hotel. Oh, so yes. you have your things in your, in your room. So that's nice. I, I like that way of traveling. <laughs> mm, that's true. You know, as, especially when you have a chance to explore the square, sit down, have a coffee, yeah. you know, look at people walk past, you know, absorb in the atmosphere, right? Yeah, shopping. Yeah, you know, well, Madrid is always open. <laughs> oh, yes. You now our shops are open from 10 to 10 at night. You know, you can have dinner in Madrid at 10, 11 at night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so live. Yeah. And you know um, what I like the most is I like the Grand Via. You know, wow, the street where you do yeah. all the shopping is so beautiful. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about this Grand Via. Yeah, Gran, Gran Via is, is, is really a new street. I mean, it was made in 1910, from 1910. That's nothing for Madrid. That's new. But it's very nice. So it's like, let's say, the, the Broadway in Madrid, the place where, where wow. the cinemas, there were 19 cinemas. Now wow. there are maybe, let's say, like around 10 cinemas or theaters. When are the musicals, uh, shops, you know, the big department stores. So with very wide, uh, it's very wide street. So it's very nice for walking up and down to see the windows, to buy, to have a coffee, to have a wine. To No, that's a really nice street. I see. That's so Madrid. And by the way, when you mentioned about this uh, Plaza Buda di Sol and also Plaza yes. Mayo Madrid, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about these two square. Why is it so important or, you know, yeah. why is it the center of extraction? Yeah, Puerta del Sol is connecting the old city with the new city, with the commercial city. So it's the typical meeting place in Madrid. Where mm. do we meet? In Puerta del Sol. That's the mm. typical place where you meet someone. And uh, that's crazy. It is uh, always uh, crowded, it always full of people, new musicians, uh, you know, uh, singers, uh, dancers, uh, street artists in general, painters, and uh, mm. people going up and down. So it's a good, it's, in Madrid is the reference point for everyone. Mm. So the first thing you have to do in Madrid is to know where is Puerto del Sol, and from Puerto del Sol you move to everywhere. And Plaza Mayor is different, it's older, it was made in the 17th century by the King Felipe III. And uh, Plaza Mayor is, is very different, it's very beautiful, you know, it's around 300 years old. Wow. Beautiful buildings, uh, old restaurants. We also have the Christmas market. If you mm. are coming Christmas, you will see the, the market, heavy. But in Madrid, go there to buy the decoration for the house, the figurines, the, you know, the, so it's, it's a very nice uh, square. You know, the typical, I see. the typical thing we eat in Plaza Mayor? What's the, that? The calamari sandwich. Bocadillo oh, de calamari. calamari. Quite simple. Oh, okay. Yes, calamari and bread. But it's nice because it's fresh made, you know, it's still hot with a cold drink. That's the perfect combination. <laughs> oh, that makes me feel like going to Madrid right now. So fun, <laughs> you know, so alive. And what I like the most, you're exactly right. You know, we see the news, we see the city of Madrid, the life. And then, you know, the next day, usually what we do is we do a day trip to Toledo. And, yes. uh, you know, it's very, ex you know, for maybe you have a better way to explain. But for me, I find Toledo yeah. is so magical. The moment I arrive, I get yeah. speechless. It's like, wow, you know? So, you know, why is this uh, Toledo so special? Uh, 
what you said is magical. You know, you, well, to go to Toledo, you have to go through La Mancha. The landscape is flat. Okay. So when you arrive to Toledo, and the first thing we do, we stop in a viewpoint. Oh, it's yes. A, it's a balcony from where we can see the city. And, you know, that's my opinion. That's my very personal opinion. For me, it's the most beautiful panoramic in Europe. Oh, yes, that's true. No, sorry, sorry for other cities. That's <laughs> my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm still taking photos. I've I've been there, I don't know, two thousand times. <laughs> I'm still taking photos like <laughs> as the first time. So then oh, we go true. to the city. Toledo was the old capital. And in 1561, the king Felipe II moved the capital from Toledo to Madrid. Oh, so then okay. Toledo lost its importance. So that's why it's like frozen in time. When you go to Toledo, it's like going to the past. Uh, nothing changed in 400 years. Wow. You can see that everything you see is 400, 500, 600 years old. So it's very interesting, very beautiful, very narrow streets, winding streets, it's a chaos. <laughs> and uh, in Toledo, we, we go through the three sections. For mm. many years, there were Christians, Muslims, and Jews. They mm. were living in peace in the same place. So in Toledo, we go to the three places. There are synagogues, there's a mosque, uh, the, of course, the cathedral. So it's a really nice excursion from Madrid. Oh, yes. Always in, the, in my recommendations. You know, you can't miss Toledo and Segovia if you have time. Oh, yes. You know, and you have, uh, because you are spending three nights in Madrid, you know, always Toledo and Segovia. Oh, yes. And you know what? The moment our travelers walk into the narrow street, you know, they are like speechless. You know, I can I still remember they were like, you know, every corner is a nice place for photograph. Every yeah. corner, you know, is like a candy shop. It's so good. It's like a maze. Huh? And, uh, you know, we know how to do the tour to go always downhill. <laughs> oh, yes, that's true. Yeah. And, uh, and you are right. There are very nice photos. And, of course, we make a stops and, uh, and, uh, and we look for the most beautiful views for you. Oh, yes. Perfect place. You know, a must where we are in Madrid to visit Toledo. And then you brought up a very good point. For me personally, my favorite beside Toledo is Definitely Segovia. You know, yeah. I still remember they have the best sucking pig in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and that's very, it's very typical, you know, the, 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 the rose piglet, you know. Oh, yes. Little pigs, very crispy outside and very tender inside. Oh, the with best a, in the world. With, yeah, with a good wine and just oh, with salad, yes. you know, not with uh, French fries or, you know, no, yes. So, uh, green salad, uh, the, uh, the piglet, and a good wine. That's a perfect combination. Oh, so true. <laughs> and what I like the most is uh, the way they present the piglet, you know, the roast piglet itself is impressive. Maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this, the oh, way yeah, they yeah. present the piglet? Yeah, that's a tradition. You know, they cook, you know, the, usually the, the, the chef, the, the, the most important one in the restaurant, where they, he, he's taking one plate to cut the pig with the plate. So with this, he's, he's showing, he's proving that's very tender. And oh, then yes. he throw the plate away, he breaks the plate. So that's, that's funny, that's nice. Yeah, that's so and cool, food. you know. Yeah, that's real food. In fact, what I like the most is uh, the moment you arrive in Segovia, you know, of course, we talk about food as well because I just can't wait, you know, to talk about this beautiful yeah. uh, roasted piglet. But the aqueduct itself is so impressive. Yeah, that is like, you know, wow, when you arrive in yeah. Segovia. Maybe you can tell us yeah. a little bit about this aqueduct. Yeah, the aqueduct is one of the most outstanding monuments from the Roman Empire. Not just from Spain, from, but from, from Europe. It is incredible. It is uh, almost 2,000 years old, still stand up. You know, by luck, we don't have earthquakes in Spain. <laughs> mm. And it was used to drive water, to bring water to the city. So it is very tall. And the same that I told you, when I go to Segovia, I am taking photos of the aqueduct. Oh, 
Yes. So Segovia is very different to Toledo. You know, mm, it's, more qu it's more quiet. In Segovia, you are more with the local people. Mm. There are not many uh, groups, the tourist groups, you know. So most of the time you see local people and uh, it's very nice for walking. It's more relaxed than other places. Yes. And there's a big surprise in Segovia. There's a very beautiful castle. Oh, it's yes. The, the Alcázar. Looks like mm. the Walt Disney's castle is, is incredible. You know, oh, look yes. for pictures and, you know, this is really, really nice, really beautiful. Oh, yes. I really enjoy, you know, it's like a, the moment I arrive in Segovia, no, you know, like the, the Aqueda is beautiful, the, the Alcatar, the castle is amazing. And you, you are so right. For me personally, I enjoy walking along the street, you know, looking at the, all the shops. Because it's like so Spanish to me. It's like, you know, it, it's just like Spain is in the air kind of feel, you know. I enjoy yeah. looking. Yeah, because so really the, the shops in Segovia are not for tourist people. Are mm, for us. Yes. For local people. So that you can find the stuff we, we need. <laughs> mm. And we don't need in our everyday, we don't need magnets. And, and <laughs> I like that. That's a good one. No, we That's the exact things. feeling I like. <laughs> yeah. So Stegovia is different. You know, it's, it's always in, you know, uh, I always recommend to go to Segovia because it's really a big surprise. Oh, yes, that's true. And, you know, besides uh, places, you know, maybe you can share with us uh, on food, you know, what kind of, uh, what's your favorite food in Spain? What's the most oh. uh, popular food, you know? I love paella. Oh, I can eat, my favorite. I can, eat, I can eat rice every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know that in Spain, we men, we cook. We love cooking. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, the hobby of many, many men in Spain. Yeah, we, we like cooking in the house and it is part of our culture. And also we are, you know, we are social, let's say social drinkers. When you go mm. to one bar, you don't, you don't see people alone. Mm. You see groups of people, uh, you know, having a wine, chatting. You don't see drunk people mm. <laughs> because we chat, chat, chat. <laughs> We drink, but we eat. We like changing of places. We go to two, three places. Uh, for example, we, let's uh, cheese. If you like cheese, you have a lot of good cheese. This is in Spain. Ham is very famous also. You know, jamón, we say. Oh, yes. Now in summer is gazpacho. You know, gazpacho is a whole soup of vegetables, tomato and other vegetables. We drink gazpacho a lot like water, you know, maybe one liter per day, you know, <laughs> it's very healthy. Yeah, it's raw vegetables and uh, olive oil. That's it, oh. quite simple. So there are so many plates that you have to try. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the jamon. Oh, that's my favorite, you know, yeah. jamon and cheese and wine. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You know. A lot of people tell me, you know, uh, the new norm is every day stay home. For me, no way, you know, you can experience life by just staying at home, you know. But it's nice at 8 o'clock, at 9, you go to one bar, you sit outside, you have a wine or a beer, and then we have dinner. I miss that so much. And by the way, when you talk about culture, you know, maybe you can share with us what, what's the number one culture in uh, Spain? Uh, what a culture well, that, you know? You mean uh, uh, about, uh, for example, in Spain, uh, we have, um, that's very known, the flamenco, you know. The oh, flamenco, yes. The, 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 that dancing show that happened in, in nice places, uh, very nice uh, dancers, men and women, singers playing the Spanish guitar. That's very typical from the south of Spain, but you can find it also in Madrid. Mm. And... Um, Music, we love music. You know, traditional music is very known worldwide. You know, not just flamenco, but you know, the classical music. And in Madrid, we have the Opera House that's very famous. One of this year, the, they were prized as the best uh, opera in the world. Mm. So people like very much music. Madrid is a very green city. 
Oh, yes. And that's a big surprise for many people coming to Madrid. Before I forget, you know, people don't expect to find so many trees and so many parks in Madrid. And uh, that's really, that makes really nice to live in Madrid, that we have a lot of uh, gardens to make picnics, to make sports. It's very safe, Madrid. So you can see uh, women running alone at night at 11, 12 at night. Uh, wow. So Madrid is a very safe city. That's important. Yeah. I still remember there's this very beautiful park that is next to a very interesting gate. And yeah. the park is very popular, very special. What's the name of the park? You, you know that? That's the Ret Retiro Park. It used to be the garden of a royal palace. Mm. Oh, uh, we lost that palace, but we have the, the garden. It's a public uh, park. And there's a lake at the center. The, when you go there, you see skaters, you know, uh, runners, uh, people making picnics. It's really, really nice with, with very old trees, uh, 200 years old, even 300. So, and uh, if you're coming in autumn, it's really beautiful because the most common tree is the horse chestnut tree. And wow. that tree is becoming you know, like a reddish, almost red. Mm. And that is really incredible. I see. And I find that Spanish people are very much into freedom, into uh, they enjoy life. They really like, you know, they, they, to them it's like, you know, when you're in Spain, time stands still, you know. That's the feeling I have. They are not in a rush, you know, they, they have their siesta. You know, maybe you can share with us a little bit about this part of the culture of... Uh... Yeah, of course it's very different in, in, I mean, Madrid at the end is a very... It's a very modern city, and and uh, you know, in our normal life, uh, we don't have uh, too much time for for siesta. But of course, now we have holidays, and in holidays we go to a second house, we go to the mountains, to the small villages, and then it's and it's normal that we we have to take a siesta because it's very hot in summer. Mm. So, so that's why people live. Uh, you know, leave the house uh, late because it, at three, four, is really hot outside. Okay, so and and it, that's true that they will really like uh, enjoying life and meeting people and meeting friends. And uh, we try to spend the you know the minimum time in the house and uh, <laughs> and the more we can outside. You know. Wow. <laughs> So good to, to hear this from you. you know, that's so refreshing. Make me feel like going to Madrid. I like the passion that you have for this country and also for this city, definitely. Uh, mm. Whenever you come, whenever you want, uh, please come to Madrid. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for your time, Jose. I think we have a great chat together and uh, I can't wait to see you in Madrid. So thank you. And I hope to see you soon in Madrid. You yes, and your people. thank you. <laughs> okay thank you bye bye so, take care enjoy bye goodbye thank you so much for your time i hope you have a great session with us if you like this program please like share and comment below and you know next week guess where we are going you know as we have planned next week we are going to budapest hungary see you next week same time same place good night